we will use the AI texturing feature of UModeler X to map a head model. First, place the completed head model in the scene. This model must have its UV unwrapped. Position the camera required for projection so that there are no angular areas. In this example, it's set in four directions, front, back, left, and right. Another point to note is that you should position each head area in the camera view so that they don't overlap. If areas overlap, the resulting image will be printed overlaid. Once the camera setup is complete, start the painting mode of UModeler X. After selecting the desired material and resolution, you can enter painting mode by clicking the Start Painting button. Click the AI Tool button in painting mode to see the options needed for AI texturing. To generate using the four cameras we've set up, we'll set up the cameras. You can place the camera in the custom camera slot at the bottom. Currently, there's only one slot, so use the plus button to increase the number as needed. If you've created too many slots, you can remove them using the minus button. Create four slots for the four cameras and drag and drop each camera from the hierarchy into each slot. Set the options required for AI texturing. All options are the same as Stable Diffusion. However, to use AI texturing in a Modeler X, a depth map is essential. So, you must install the Depth Control Unit and activate the Use Depth Control Unit check option. The button to generate multiple cameras simultaneously is the Generate All in One button located below the camera slots. When you press the button, images will be created based on the set camera positions. Review the images and click the Apply Texture button. Since you've generated using four cameras, it will be created as four layers according to the camera arrangement. Turn the layers on and off to review the images and adjust any stretched or unnecessary parts of the image. UModeler X supports image editing tools such as brushes, erasers, and fill tools, so you can easily modify images using these tools.
If you want to use the same color again, you can easily extract the color of the texture using the eyedropper tool. Once you've naturally blended all the connected parts, you're done.